Hey guys, it's Evie, and today I'm going to be decorating my new sketchbook cover. I got this sketchbook for Easter, and as you can see, it just has a black cover on both sides. So today, we're going to be decorating the front. If you haven't checked out my last two videos, go check them out, and we'll get right on to the video. Okay, so here I'm sketching out a turtle because I wanted to do something with turtles for the front of my sketchbook. So I'm just sketching out a silhouette of a turtle. I changed the fins because they were wrong, and yeah. Then I start doing So I finished drawing the basic outline silhouette of the turtle. And so now I'm going to cut it out and trace and make a couple more. And then we can get right on to painting. Now I have one turtle cut out. Time to cut two more. Here I'm just tracing the turtles so that way I can cut all of them out and have them okay. in my sketchbook. So I have the three turtles. And what my plan is to do is to like line them up like going in this corner. And make like bubbles and in the bubbles it says like two or like second sketchbook or something like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tape these down pick out my colors and we'll see how it goes so i start taping the turtles down and getting ready to paint over them okay so i got these three turtles taped down and i was going to use this acrylic paint but this paint is it's very good but it's also very very old and so it's kind of lumpy and clumpy, so I'm going to try with these colors. So I have folk art, acrylic paint, and I don't know what color that is. Fresh Floyd foliage. have this Craftsmart paint and neon blue. Again, Craftsmart paint, paint in vanilla. And Delta, I can't pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. And it's Coastline Blue. So you can kind of see down there. So these will be shaken up. And so yeah, I'm gonna try to use these colors to create kind of a cloud behind this of like water with bubbles and it'll get like more and more bubbly as it comes down. And then I have these two pens I got, or glitter markers I got. So we'll see if that shows up on the paint to write second sketchbook. Or I do acrylic paint and just write like second sketchbook. So yeah, let's get on to painting. Here I start painting and I do decide not to use the green because I feel like it would take away from the blues and not blend as well. So I'm just painting over the turtles and yeah, it turns out pretty good. Okay, so I finished painting and it didn't come out with the total effect I wanted, but I still think it looks really cool. And so now it's time to wait for it to dry. I will be writing down here in this little bubble, second sketchbook or just like second, second or two. I'll peel off the turtles and then we'll go to the final reveal. Here, I'm just painting on the second because I felt that the markers wouldn't okay, show up. Okay, so I got the second painted on because of my second sketchbook, and now I'm gonna peel off the turtles for the final reveal. Here, I'm just painting off the turtles, and as you can see, some of the paint went over the line, so I'm touching up. And I'm also gonna add dots, hearts, and this swirly pattern to give the turtles a little something like it's their shells. Okay guys, so this is the final product, and when I did peel the turtles off, <clears throat> You can see they kind of, some of the paint came off with it, but I love how it looks. It's abstract. It's, I, at first when I did it, I didn't know if I would like it, but I added the hearts and that's really pattern and those dots and rose second. And I'm really happy with the overall sketchbook. I'm definitely going to be excited to use this in my previous videos and show off the cover and how I made it. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button and hit the, no the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to see when I upload videos. I hope you all like this sketchbook and I'll see you all next time. Bye!